Team four, take one. Mark it. And action. Midsummer Murders, Season 19, Episode 1, The Village That Rose from the Dead, written by Rachel Cooperman and Sally Griffiths. Exterior, Great Auburn Cross Keys Pub, Night. People are spilling out of the pub into the night. Exterior, Little Auburn, Night. Close in on another Cross Keys Pub sign, but this one's about 100 years older, as is the derelict pub it's attached to. We are with someone, watching from hiding as Finn dismounts and pushes his bike towards one of the big gaps in the fence. He pushes the bike through and clambers after it. It is a chain-linked fence, topped with barbed wire running around the perimeter of an overgrown village. The fence is covered with big signs saying, Danger, keep out. Another sign, Great Auburn, one mile. As he approaches the village green, which has a battered World War II tank parked on it, his bike hits a wire strung tight across the road, sending him tumbling from his bike. A grunt of pain as he hits the ground and lies there sprawled next to the bike. The sound of an ignition firing, followed by the rumble of an engine as the tank roars into life and drives over his bike towards Finn. Finn screams. Exterior, Little Auburn, Village Green, Day. Emergency vehicles are parked around the Village Green. Uniform officers are taking statements from some of the visitors we saw entering the village. Barnaby approaches the scene, takes a moment to look at the village spread out in front of him before making his way towards the World War II tank. Finn is still lying where Karina found him. Nearby lies his badly mangled bicycle. Cam crawls out from underneath the tank. Major trauma to the legs and torso, excessive internal bleeding, injuries and markings, all consistent with having been struck by this. 